Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer. And today's video is going to be all about masking in Adobe Photoshop for the iPad. I'm going to be showing you three different ways to use masking to combine text and an image right on your iPad. So if you're ready, grab your tablet and let's jump in. Masking is a non-destructive way of hiding parts of your image without actually erasing them. So it's really great for photo compositing and combining text and images, which is what we're gonna be looking at today. So for all of these examples, I'm gonna be using this photo grabbed from Adobe Stock. I've got a link that you can use in the description box below for 30 free days so you can grab your own image. So for this first example, I've got a text layer selected I've loaded in this Mogan regular font. I'll link that in the description box below. This is a really nice serif font, and I think it pairs nicely with these really expressive florals. So what I wanna do is I wanna fold and interweave some of the petals from the image from behind into the text. So to do that, I'm going to tap my text layer. I'm going to hit this little mask icon here. And what you'll see happen is, a white box has now appeared. That represents our mask. So by default, it fills in white. So all you need to do to be able to use your mask and manipulate it is go to your brush and you're going to use black. Select your brush. So for this, I actually want, I'm gonna start with a hard brush and I'm just going to start erasing parts or hiding parts, rather, of my text. And then I can go in and fine tune this. So whenever I want to add the text back, I'm just going to change my brush back to white. So now I've got a little leaf peeking through across that L. And I'm just gonna keep doing this for other parts of my image. And you can just zoom in and get as close as you need to. So at the end of that process, you make your edits, your masking, and you might end up with something that looks similar to this. Sort of introducing the petals, intertwining them, and sort of peeking them and hiding them around your letter forms. And it's just a really nice way to combine text and imagery. So let's take a look at method two. So for this method, I have my text rasterized and merged onto a solid black background. So this is all on one layer. And what I wanna do is I wanna use masking to isolate the background from the letter forms so that I can achieve the same effect. So to do that, I'm going to go over to my selection tool here and just, you can press and hold and make sure that you have the magic wand selected. Then, with your touch shortcut here, this little button, you can tap and hold and start tapping around your screen. Now I'm gonna do this so that I can make multiple selections and make sure that I'm grabbing the black from the insides of my letter forms as well. And once I have everything selected, I'm just going to hit invert here at the bottom, and then I'm going to hit mask. So what that does, like I said, is that has masked and hidden the black background from the letter forms. So now I can go in with my brush and start making those same edits and modifications or any other modifications that I'd like. So with this one, maybe you're looking to achieve a different effect. You can do all different kinds of things by just modifying which brush that you choose. So I'm gonna choose this 
soft round. You can fade out parts of your letters. So feel free to really just experiment however you like. So it's really up to you. So now that we've seen this, let's move on to method three. So for this final method, I'd like to introduce a new background for this. I'm not really wanting to use this black background like this for the florals anymore. I want to introduce this. So I'm going to first use an auto selection feature from within the program to initiate this mask on my flower layer to isolate it from the background. So I'm going to use my selection tools and I'm just going to select remove background. So now you can see I did a pretty good job isolating these flowers from the black background. So now I've got this gradient background showing and I like that a lot. As you can see, it has auto created a mask for me to hide that black background. So I can have my text layer from before showing, doing that interweaving and having its own mask. And then I can also do some additional masking with the florals if I like. So that's an option. Some helpful additional tips to remember. Your mask and your original layer can just be swiped left to right. And if you ever want to delete a mask, you can just tap it once and hit the trash can icon. You can also use other kinds of masks like clipping masks. I can tap my layer here with my florals, hit the three dot icon and select add clipped adjustment. And let's say I want to make the florals black and white. I can do that. And with the clipped adjustment, I can select what parts of the florals I actually want to have some color and be strategic and intentional with how I add color into the florals in this piece. So they really give you a lot of fine tuned control. And it's really all about what you want to achieve in your final piece. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like and leave me a comment with any questions that you might have. This video came from a suggestion from our community. So if you have any other suggestions or things that you want to see from the channel, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.